for me for, for my birthday. I'm on his show. You have like a silver spoon going across, just just to get you know, just to acknowledge me where I'll be in the world. <laughs> we'll start <that> <laughs> Five, four, three, two, one. Colin, on the edge of the box is Madden. Madden trying to manufacture the shot, gets it away, it's there! Oh my word! What a goal from Paddy Madden! strikes again and is that the goal that's going to send Stockport County back into the Football League Hello and welcome to the Scarf Begara War with you every week having a good old pick at the Scarf of County News that's the Scarf Begara War part of well I was going to say what we're part of but I should probably have a chat with you first you've know, you become a big fan Notice of the flame emoji. What's that all about? Just means you're on fire. Okay. Yeah. Because right. you keep doing it every time. I'll, you know, like, I'll be like, oh, podcasts upload and it's, it's available now on Spotify and all yeah, that. Yeah. Like, so I'd, I'd like start, I'd like nail the letterbox shut just in, <laughs> just in case you would come around and chuck something. I'm really worried. But I, I always use the uh, crying laughing. Yeah, yeah. Emoji. It's getting overused. It's like the mark of a moron, isn't it? Yeah. But yeah. it's either that or the. the Side, sideways <laughs> crying laughing, so it's like, oh, less than two. Because there's no others that look like laughing. No, no right. mate and yeah, yeah. seemed insincere. Well, LOL. Is that his old school? David Cameron ruined that. Did he? Yeah, look at the only thing he ruined. No, no just was something. I don't know why he ruined that. Because he thought it was lots of love, didn't he? Oh, did he? Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's easy done, easy done. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. But anyway, we've there's a big, big announcement, isn't there? And I, 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 I cannot keep the lid on it any longer. I've been telling people, random people. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, right. Yeah, I'm just checking you out the live. I thought for me. No, no. I think we've got a problem with the sound because I'm not an audio engineer. I think. Uh... I can't even see it now. How about that? Is that that's probably better? That's there we go. Better. There we go. Sorry about that, everybody. See, this is what, as much as we like it, all being in the same room together, this is the type of thing that happens. I know. Yeah. Yeah. It is. yeah. But it's nice to have people round, isn't it? It's nice to have guests round. So yeah, so we're gonna we, should we introduce Daz first? Introduce Daz, and then you can make your big announcement, can't you? Yeah, we've got a big announcement coming up, Daz. But but Daz, welcome to the County it's, Arms. What do you think? It's amazing. I mean, it, first and foremost, it's, it's it's great to be amongst some professionals <laughs> uh, for once. <laughs> <laughs> the elite of the sport, <laughs> born with a silver spoon in his mouth. <laughs> That's an in joke, which was anyway. No, it's great. It's great to be back. It's great to be back with you boys in person, uh, talking about the greatest football team in the world. Yeah. But um, I'll let you. I won't. You know, I don't want to rain on your parade. This is your big moment. <laughs> we're, all, we're going corporate, ladies and gentlemen. Strap yourselves in. <laughs> No, we have got an announcement to make, but well, before we do that, what I'll say is, uh, if you are watching live, which lots of you are, uh, please do like the uh, video and subscribe if you, have, if you haven't. If you're listening back on a podcast player, whatever podcast player that is, please rate us, comment, follow us, all those good things, that would be really good. Uh, we've got Daz with us for about an hour. We're going to talk about County, Walsall, Bradford, Grimsby, general things that are happening, ground improvements. But first... Maybe bridge all and riding the BMX down to Stockport to get electric tokens. I don't know anything's anything's came in it. Um, but what we've got, yeah, we're going to announce. Uh, we've actually partnered with Talk Sport. We are now the official fan partner for Stockport County for fan created content for Talk Sport. So nothing will change from your perspective. We'll still be on podcast players. Um, you won't have to do anything different. Um, you might get a few more ads, and you'll get a Talk Sport ad as well. So that's good for us, and that'll expose us nationally hopefully but we may even cut our opening titles to allow for the ads so sorry yes. John Kieran yes maybe <laughs> just for the audio um and also not forgetting we are finalists of the Northwest Football Awards yeah. for fan created yeah. content and and we're part of the ACAS creative network which is which you love to say I've that, don't you? To be, I listen to so many podcasts that say that that I've like, oh, I'd love to say that one day yeah well, I've, I've said it to everyone you know what, boys? Now that you're going corporate, you might attract a higher class of celebrity fanning. Okay, I've heard Will Mellor's available. <laughs> <laughs> He'll support any fucker. Yeah. 
He's too busy thinking yeah. about on a Saturday night, don't you? He is. Danny Miller did say he'd come on at some point. But he's a celebrity. But he's anyone I'm a celebrity and I've not oh. heard of him. You've not heard him since. Um, <laughs> Literally. And, I'm a City fan. <laughs> <laughs> he's a Liverpool fan, though, isn't he? And he, he lives, he's from Stockport. Is he from Opperton? I'm not really sure. Uh, Cheadle Hume. Oh, is he from Cheadle Hume? Hume? Oh, Hume. I won't, I won't know him because <laughs> I'm Cheadle. Right. I'm, I'm one step away from Cheadle Heath, me. I'm scum. Right. Yeah. That makes sense. Uh, so that's the big announcement. So you can congratulate us on things. That, that'd that be great. Um, but yeah, so we, should we start with some football chat? Uh, Walsall on Saturday. What, what, I'm fine. What do you think? I'm, I'm, I'm honestly, and I, I know, we, I think all week you've been worried that I'm, Nick, oh, Nick's going to... Well, it's every week, Nick's going to be... Well, so. well <laughs> we're not winning. It's not like we're winning. And I'm like, well, that was shit, that. It's, I'm, I'm, I think it was more glass half full. For me, I think we finally seem to have sorted the defence out. We had a bit of control in the midfield with Crowsdale. And if we can just start creating some better chances, get a partnership going between Madden and Wooten, now that Madden's available, we're we fine. Shall we ask someone who actually knows a bit about yeah. football? Daz, yeah. what do that's you think? That's all I've got. <laughs> <laughs> it's one that's what I've got until <laughs> next week. Okay, well, I remember last time I was on the podcast, me and Nick had a sort of, debate what it's all about with regards Ash Palmer and levels. Mm. I want to go on the record that I love Ash Palmer. Yeah. But a lot of county fans know the football because we've been in the fourth division and stuff before, you know, the older brigade like me. What you got on Saturday was a classic example of stepping up a level and how it works against the National League. If Nick can run the 100 metres in 9.9... <laughs> Which he can't. <laughs> I can't do it in 9.9 <laughs> <laughs> hours. <laughs> down Castle Street <laughs> yeah. on a Saturday, running from the John <laughs> With the Jamaican woodbine. <laughs> and I can run it in 10 seconds, right? The gap is very, very fine. But over the course of 10 races, he will win more than me. And what you got, Warsaw had one chance and took it. We annihilated yeah. Warsaw from a footballing perspective. And these are just lessons that we're learning because, you know, we're not going to come and piss this league. We're just not. I still think we're going to be finishing the top 10 this season. I still think we've got the best manager in the league, um, I love, I love, I love the feeling around the club that, that's been happening in the last six months. I think what's happened, as I just said to you before, since the success, we've maybe got a f- two or three thousand newcomers that have come and maybe don't understand the county culture because you know we are the greatest fans in the world and, and we don't mind losing as long as we're trying losing. I think the majority of county fans realise that we will get it right. You know, we're, we're blitzing teams. You know, we are blitzing teams, you know, and uh, in terms of we're not scoring, but we're always in the game. And it's just that one little mistake sending off at Doncaster. And we still give them a bloody game, you know. Yeah, yeah. And, um, you know, for me, I, I, I'm not a gambling man, but I would bet more or less everything we've got that we're top 10 this season, possibly even in the playoffs. So everyone just stop panicking. Stop calling these fucking stupid things on... I'm hearing about sack the manager. What? What? You want to go back to the McGee and that other fella? You know, people need to realise where we fucking were, man. Do you want to go back to Alfreton and them places? There's no disrespect to them because I don't. We're playing Warsaw, right? Who were shit, but they got one chance and they scored. Mm. That's the level we're at. And so a non-league team can beat a League Two team or a, a National League team. There isn't on a one-off occasion, but over the course of 10, 12, 13 games, you're going to see the difference. And we're just playing a little bit of catch-up. I'm not bothering the slightest. The Warsaw game, I thought, was a bloody good game in the first half. Yeah. We give them a right good idea, mm-hmm. loads of possession. You know, we had chances. Sucker punch. Sucker punch right at the end. I and mean, it felt like a defeat, didn't it? Yeah, that's... Right, we'll see you next week. <laughs> yeah, what, I mean, what more? This is why we get people who know shit. Yeah, just delving a bit deeper then. So I, 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 I write things down during the matches so I don't forget mainly. Uh, I think people, you're correct, people gimp. know. Oh, you, oh, 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 right, no, yeah, I thought you meant on your pad. No, no, the only person that looks at me like I'm a gimp is my lad. He's like, oh, okay, what are you doing, Dad? <laughs> um, but I, what I did pick up on, J- Johnson gets a lot of stick, doesn't he? As, as does this Johnson, but that Johnson got a lot of stick. Gets a lot of stick. It felt to me like him and Horsfall were getting a really good partnership going. They're sort of understanding each other. Did you did you see that? I'm concerned or? about the pace. Yeah. I'm mm-hmm. concerned about the pace on the left-hand side. I think in Joe Lewis, we have got an excellent, excellent uh, centre-half. I was away at Harrogate, you know, mixing with the elite <laughs> uh, of Yorkshire. Um, and so, and he played really, really well there. And I, I think he, he reminds me a lot of Palmer, you know, um, and he's young. Um I think defensively we're going to be okay, uh, but we uh, 
down that left. If I was managing against County, that's where I'd be going straight down there, yeah. just sliding it down. because Johnson has no pace, but he's got a beautiful left foot. And he's got beautiful balance, but he has no pace. And um, I think we need someone in that position that has pace. Horsfall, brilliant. Yeah, you can tell he's brilliant. He's played there. He's got you know he's got a bit of stature. Good looking boy. You know Leeds. You know it's what you want. I don't think we've found the person to play in the middle of that yet. Yeah. Um, and I think he's still. Remember, we've got two very good defenders in our management team, yeah. who, who made a career out of getting the best out of themselves. I mean, Clint Hill played in the Prem, for yeah. God's sake. So if they can't get the defensive right, nobody else is yeah. going to do it. So I, I, I think. Uh, by the way, and this is not a, a hit on Johnson because I think he's a very, very good player. But pace is not his strong yeah. point. No, that's all I'm saying. So almost, if we could have a defender, if we could like genetically engineer a cross between Kitching and Johnson. That would be the perfect, perfect. person. Yeah, because <laughs> yeah. Kitchen's got the pace, but is sometimes his uh, positioning leaves a lot to be desired. Whereas Johnson, kind of not as good on the ball, I don't think, as no. Kitchen, and not as quick. But, no, yeah, there's, I, there's enough there, I think, for me. I said it a couple of weeks ago as well. Johnson can't doesn't seem to be able to do a ten yard ball, but can ping a half volley yeah. off the side of his foot. It's got a beautiful left sixty foot. yards, and that's beautiful like left. I don't get that. What about the right hand side then? Because Collar played right back and. He, he was my one of well, yeah. he's probably my man of the match. I was actually. sickened by that when I saw when I saw the lineup. I was like, oh, square pegs in round holes again. But, but I mean, he has played there before. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So it makes a little bit more sense. But yeah, I mean, if it if it allows us to get one of our other eighty six midfielders <laughs> in, into the side because because <laughs> we're pretty top, pretty heavy in the midfield department. Middle heavy, yeah. Then yeah, it does, with Southam Hales seemingly still out for a while, it makes sense. What do you make of Lemon Hay Evans? Yeah. You see, you got man of the match, but I, I didn't see that. I think he faded did. after half time. Mm. And I watched him a lot last season for Torquay and the season before. And the guy's, the guy's a player. Yeah. Funny enough, though, he reminds me a little bit of Christy Bowman, who I know has been on the show. He reminds me a lot of him. I've heard in the camp that he's quite a quiet lad. Yeah. And sometimes when you're moving up from Devon yeah. Yeah, into yeah. the metropolis that is Stockport, or <laughs> whatever <laughs> suburb he's living in. <laughs> Bridgewood. Bridge all. <laughs> all events to our listeners from there, or viewers from there. But he's another one that I really... When I found out that we were signing him, I was really excited. Give him the chance and he'll go. He'll run at players. Yeah. I don't know if you've seen him in the National League uh, final mm. uh, a couple of years yeah, ago. I, don't know. I, think, I think they got yeah. beat, Torquay, didn't they? Yeah, by Hartlepool, yeah. That's right. But probably one of the reasons why Dave went and got him because he can open defences. Another one like Nubi, you know, I'm a big fan of Nubi. He can open, he can open doors. Uh, Evans and I think just again just if we're still talking about him in three months and he hasn't quite lit the room up then I'd start to be a bit more worried yeah. but he's got his chance you see he's been having a little bit past. I yeah. thought he was okay against Leicester but in a game where he's the wrong type of player yeah because the Leicester game Charlie set up to get to 60 70 minutes and then get the cavalry out yeah. that's how he set up and it can go against you because if Leicester would have scored Leicester, Leicester battered us by the way let's not let's not pull no punch no no it was beautiful to watch if if Rusk would have been there he would have been throwing one <laughs> <laughs> honestly like, Jesus, you know sideways sideways back just pulling us apart you're all right Nick <laughs> gone gone oh god just pulling us apart yeah. but the game plan fucking work. That's why yeah, he's yeah. a great manager. Yeah. And, and, and if Wharton would have swung at that rather than touched it, you never know. And we only went out on penalties against a side that were brilliant and at the bottom of the Premier yeah. League. So you talk about levels. Yeah. See what I'm saying? So I've seen enough of the few games that I've seen this season to know that we are not going down yeah. at all. We're, we're, we will find our feet and we'll start to, to push up. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you mentioned Wharton there, actually, because he's it's something I've gone on quite about quite a bit on the show. It always seems when things aren't going well, it always seems to be the target man that is the target. Yeah. <laughs> he yeah. seems to be the one like we've had Tom Elliott, uh, Big K, yeah, yeah, as well. And it yeah. just seems to be non non scoring target men, <laughs> yeah, seems to, seem to be the ones to you know what's you know what's annoying you me because we're, we're not winning matches, so, someone has to be sacked for it, yeah. Like somebody, yeah. Some, somebody's got to be sacked for it. I think of a name if you want to go down that road. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of who I'm alluding to, isn't it? It's, it's something people are asking for that. Um, what did you make of obviously Sarsavik not starting? Because when I saw the team sheet, I mean, I, I picked him in my prediction. I do every time because he started every match, I think. But yeah, not starting, and it, it worked pretty well. It makes sense to me. I, I, I've, I've been kind of been surprised that he's kept his place. He's been an almost untouchable last few weeks, so it's good to see. I mean, it's not good for him. I mean, obviously, no. you know, kicking his heels on the bench. Well, I don't know. He's how much he's on. Nice no, well, yeah, 
But um, yeah, it, it, it does make it's not to say he's a bad player or anything, but he's just not hit those heights this season. I mean, no one has, to be fair, but I think everyone else has kind of had a spell out of the team. Everyone else has suffered, and he's he's been the only one who hasn't. So, and what say he's going to find it hard to get back in well, now? I think. Well, yeah, he has been. Charlie's been playing him slightly more advanced. Have you noticed? He's been trying to get him right in, right in, right on top of the number nine. So as they go into the nine, because last season. Oh, sorry, in the other part of the season, we weren't getting close enough mm. to the nine when it does go into the big man. If you're 15, 20 yards away from him, yeah. they're winning it and the, the ball's turned over. So I've noticed he's a little, little bit further forward. Um, okay, controversial time. I don't think right now there's room in the side for him and Camps at the same time. That's no. just my, that's just my I opinion. I agree. It's my opinion and, and all, everyone's got their opinions to it. In Camps, by the way, we have arguably a championship bottom of the premiership midfield player. The problem you have with good players like that, because I know we got so much stick against Barrow. When you're playing players who are not quite on the same level, sometimes it can make you look shit. Mm. But let me tell you, County fans, that boy is a player. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and he is. Um, we need him on the pitch. I'd personally like to see Crowsdale sitting and camp sort of like pulling strings yeah. and then a good number 10. South on form. Yes. But right, not right now, if you know what I mean. Well, I'm yeah. going to throw a suggestion out there because I agree with you there. I'd go, yeah, Crowsdale sitting, Camps alongside him, dictating. And as an, I'd like to see Madden as a number 10. Because I think, and then you can have Crankshaw up top with Wotton and you've got that pace to stretch you. Because that's something we're sorely lacking, especially with Southern Hales out. There's just no pace. Yeah. No pace. We're not getting behind teams. Team, teams know they can just sit. I mean, Walsall, Walsall centre halves were there for the taking. On Saturday, I thought one of them was 40 years old, for God's sake. Was it? Yeah, Clark. <laughs> no, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's older than my season. Having said that, a 40 year old that's played in the Prem. Yeah, so yeah. He's got a yeah. little bit. Of, Who is it? Sorry. Knows, uh, Peter Clark. Uh, Pete Clark. Oh, was it? Oh, right. Was he playing? Tom Clark, is it? It's Clark, anyway. It's Clark. Yeah, yeah, I, I, yeah I know which yeah, one you mean. I don't believe by all of them in the season. Um, we've had a comment in saying that Sarsavik was ill. That's why he didn't start. That... Might be a blessing in disguise. But he, does he strike you as the type who. Won't like being out of the team. I mean, no one should like being out of the team. 100% but... he will. But let me ask you two guys a question. Do you think the Warsaw first half was the best we played yeah. this season? Absolutely. You just answered your own question, yeah. didn't you? Yeah. So, we made the, yeah. so, the, so the manager, folks, the manager made the right mm. decision. It's just a shame we've got that injury to Crankshaw to possibly contend with when... Play just, the season so far for me. Crankshaw. Just as John Kieran was saying on commentary that Crankshaw can't wait to play against Bradford next week. And then he goes down injured. injured. I was like, thanks, John. Yeah. <laughs> it's all John's fault. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, it was the best four. It was the best eighty-eight minutes, really, that yeah, I've seen. Yeah. I mean, that was and that was an improvement on the forty-five we did the week before against Northampton, was it? We lasted, <laughs> lasted forty-five against Northampton, so you can we can see improvements all the time. Yeah. Do you know? Do you know? After watching the Northampton game, I would kill for that toss pot who came on because yeah. he is yeah. exactly what we are missing. Yeah, yeah. At this level, I thought we had him quickly, but. Clearly not. He was he was shit out. He, he was next higher. level. Yeah. The guy, the guy deserves to represent this country. <laughs> shit out. Yeah, yeah, Olympics, Olympic shit out. <laughs> yeah, exactly. yeah, brilliant. Yeah. yeah. What about the defending for their goal? I, I've I've not actually had stomachs watching it back yet, but it seemed like poor marking. Yeah, he seemed to have one of. The, I can't remember who was meant to be marking, but it certainly wasn't what you'd the players you'd want marking the taller players. It was. I can't remember who it wasn't Evans. Was I don't even know who, who who scored it. I don't even know. I don't care. Yeah, the forward that he brought on again, good man. He's a good right. manager. That Flynn's a good manager. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, wasn't he linked with us when Charlie? Yes, was he was. He was yeah, one of, yeah. Yeah, I think he was second. All or right, boys, so we've yeah. all played football, right? Yeah. The well, well <laughs> stop poor district. Yeah, yeah. Don't look at, you, don't look you, at me, you, belly. I used to be really thin. I used to be really you thin. Silver spoon boys, don't <laughs> it. you're rugby fellas. He's an imposter, ladies and gentlemen. There's rugby shirts on the other side of this camera. Brittany Jack and Joe reserves, 1997. I'll have you know. It's, it's three minutes to go in a game where you're one nil up. They've gotten a corner. They've had nothing all day. What are you expecting? You expect it to go in the yeah. mixer. You're not expecting it to go to the front post. That's it. Bingo. There's levels, ladies and gentlemen. It's levels of football. Yeah, yeah. yeah I agree with that. Yeah. I agree with that as well. Yeah. I'm not yeah. going to come and disagree. With you. <laughs> <laughs> you no, know I mean? spot on. <laughs> um, so that was well solved. It did feel like a defeat, didn't it? In the end, it, it kicking the nuts kind of thing on it right at the end. I, I was looking. I, I was getting ready to go out to a fortieth on Saturday night. Speaking of which, we're on the subject of that 40th. In Charlton, friends of my girlfriend. Charlton. Silver Spoon. Thank, thank you. <laughs> I live in Moss Side, man. <laughs> so I, I ventured from Moss Side to Charlton. <laughs> and um, very pleased to see at the party, there was two Scunthorpe fans, a Leeds fan, 
Um, what else was there? a Bolton fan? It was very complimentary about us. All right. Um, a lad who's a Scunthorpe fan, but his stepson is a County fan. <laughs> right. No, no City and United to be seen. Good. It was so nice. So people are chatting to people all night because obviously my missus went off and talked to people more interested than me. So now I'm just stuck on my own. And my phone got very wet because I got caught in a rainstorm on Saturday. <laughs> so I had to leave my phone at home in a bag of rice. So <laughs> right. you're never alone with a phone, are you? So, so I can't just sit there on my phone hell. while she's off, off gallivanting. But luckily I could talk football with yeah. people who actually knew football. It wasn't like, oh, you just bought County. Oh, is that a big black lad still playing for you up front? <laughs> 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 like it is every time. <laughs> so is Dave Jones still there? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you still play Friday nights? Your life's a bit of a drama, isn't it? Is it? Yeah. Really? It just is. I don't know. <laughs> it just is. It just sounds like a right. No, you've been working on. <laughs> <laughs> just sounds like a drama, mate. But what? Because I went, got invited to a party. No, but you, you had to put your phone in a, a, some rice. I don't think I've ever done that. To, well, well, that works. I know. I know. I know it works. I just not had to do it since I was about eighteen. Three times. <laughs> three, three times this past week, I've been caught in a rainstorm. I've been caught in like a monsoon three times this week on my right. own from work. He's not had to do it since he was eighteen because he's butler. Does it, <laughs> it? Yeah, you get Jeeves to do it for you. Jeeves just goes out and gets you Honestly, in your phone, doesn't he? This is like a mansion, let me tell you. Uh, I've had it records, yeah. but nothing like this, fella. A Silver spoon. Uh, a mansion near Bredbury Hall. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> um, so that's the Walsall match. We've got Bradford on... Know, you didn't let me finish my story. Oh, sorry, go on. No, I thought that was oh, it. Oh, was that it? All right. Yeah, <laughs> just wind you up. Uh, before we come on to Bradford on Saturday and the, the subsequent matches... Um, Plans for the ground. Now, there was the consultation, and we'll come on to the sculpture thing in a minute, how that went. But plans for the ground. Have you seen the plans for the ground? Oh, incredible. I mean, it's so overdue, isn't it? It's yeah, so yeah, yeah. overdue. When I first went to County, all of you as remember this, I stood in the railway end, and there used to be like an old piss pot where the police box is. <laughs> yeah. How ironic! <laughs> <laughs> just sit on top of that. First game was against Peter Brown. I was just hooked from then. But the, the railway end over the years is... is so been like, I mean, you've got to feel sorry for you come up from fucking Exeter or something yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. Pissing down on them. I mean, yeah. come on. It needs a roof. I mean, we've been there plenty, plenty of times. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Having to go so to Alfred. I'm, exci- I'm excited by it. And again, you know, I cannot sing his praise. You know, I'm a big stock mm. fan. And, and uh, I think what he's doing is putting his money where his mouth is. And, and if we pull this off, geez, it's going to be fantastic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. So I went to the consultation area before Saturday's game. You went on Thursday. Yeah. Thursday. Uh, it was. It was much. I mean, people listening will have gone to it. It was much more than just repeating what was on the website. Because that's what I saw a lot of people saying online. Said, "Oh, it's just the stuff that's on the website." Well, no, there's people there to talk to. They're very open. Very interested. They're not just doing it for a job. Either. They're, they're actually interested in it. Yeah. It's, it's not. It's not just. Oh, well, because it's the job. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. But they're, 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 they're quite happy to just chat, chat away and what have you. It's yeah. not like. It's not like closed off, like you could kind of expect these things too. But there's, pl- there's club staff there, like Rick Simpkins, there, uh, happy for a chat. The architect, the planning department, yeah, everyone is just quite happy for you to ask any questions, yeah. And yeah, consider when the architect told me he'd done, he was involved in Fylde State New Stadium. At first, I thought, mm. 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 <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I was, I was, I was soon kind of. Uh, I was, I was soon soothed. Yeah, I was asking about different things that weren't on the plans. You know, like how do is I don't know why I asked this. It just interested me. Is there going to be exits from the back of the ground? There's got to be. There's got to be. Aren't they? Where are you going to? Yeah, well, I didn't ask about parking, but yeah, I, exits at the back of the ground. And is there going to be boxes in the end and the railway of end? Of course, and... there's going to be boxes. No, they said they said there's going to be boxes somewhere. Uh, yeah, pop, be... well, it looked like the po- drawing on the pop side, and the well, basically, I, basically I don't said, need a box. I can see stood up anyway, can't I? So I don't need a box. Don't you stand on a box? Hey, hey, Nick, again, oh. have you noticed it was Russ who brought up boxes? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. That's, 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 this is going to run and run. It's going to bleed it, 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 bleed it you? Bleed it dry. <laughs> no, the reason why I brought up boxes is because we've never had boxes, have we? Like, they look mint, don't they? Don't they look mint? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know, I've never been in one. No, oh, no. yeah, right. I, I, I couldn't give a shit either way, Nick. But I, I was saying... Oh, I've just got the joke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I, was, I was saying this to my girlfriend the other day, though. She's like, oh... Because every week when they do the big Euro Millions jackpot, we'll be sat there on a Friday evening and she'll be like, oh, imagine that. Imagine, imagine we won the Euro Millions. Like, we'll have to buy a ticket first. That's <laughs> never starters. But yeah, so what would you do? Would you get a box at County? I was like, no. Because there are none. No. But even if there was, <laughs> I wouldn't. I, no, I, 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 I would. I would. But I would. No, no, I would. Traitor. I would. I would. And then I'd uh, let I'd let it out to friends and stuff every, all through the season. I'd let it out to refugees. Refugees. I'd turn it out to refugees. Say, <laughs> you, you'd, you'd have a box at county, wouldn't you? Do you know what? But you know, hands up. I sort of did that 
because we didn't have boxes. Because obviously, I used to, back in the days, a pop side and a cheat lender. Mm. But when I had my million selling it, I moved to the main stand. <laughs> <laughs> so it's technically going in the box. Right? Yeah. Although, when I did the record for County a few years ago, they invited me into the director's box and I refused. I didn't want to do it. Right. Because that's going too far. You know, you've got to know your place. So, so I'm, I'm, I'm dead down with the fans. Now I'd fucking <laughs> beg them to look at me. I like your song. But I, I, I like to think I'd turn down a knighthood if I got offered one. It's not like I'm going to get offered one. No. But if not. I did, I'd definitely turn it down. It'd be different at the time, wouldn't it? I mean, no, we're talking hypothetical no. now, aren't we? So should we move I on? I don't know anyone who wants to go to Buckingham Palace that much. Because that's why a lot of people do do it. It is kind of like, oh, it's what to take mum to Buckingham Palace. That's the only reason I accepted it. <laughs> but I just feel like, I just want to take my mum to the main stand. Is it not a great honour to get a knighthood? Have you got an MBA or anything? No? I'm Services to... No, I'm just serious, no. That's that's nice. shows for you, mate. He's got guitars on the, on, the, on, the, on the wall here. He's not having any fucking hits. He's here taking a bit <laughs> How many number ones have you had in Belarus? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, folks. Sorry, I've, uh, I've, I've thrown you there. You've gone. You've gone. Yeah, yeah. Um, I've gone. Uh, what we what we talking about? Oh yeah, the stadium. Stadium plans. Boxes. Yeah, yeah. So I mean the, the yeah boxes for me. No, but I, I tell you what though, I am going to the pop side when it's built. I am. That's where I'm. That's where my new oh, season's going to be. Going to the pop side against Leicester. And I was, oh, it's been great view. I'm in the pop side for twenty years. What's been great? Great view it was. Yeah, yeah. Without the pillars. In front yeah, of you, yeah. yeah, yeah. But I remember when I first started going, um, we used to go on the pop. I used to walk up and down. It was it was all standing, wasn't it? That's why I love the pop side. That's where that's where I went first. So, like, I, I, I finished the main stand my first ever game oh. in the in the. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> in, in, in the the bit nearest the Cheedland in front of the kiosk. Oh yeah, yeah. With no roof, that was my first ever game. Yeah, yeah. in case you're wondering. Well, you, you need health insurance, them fucking donkeys. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, some of them left backs and show no mercy. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I got a few knocks to the head early on. <laughs> that explains it all. Um, so, yeah, they, they did say, it's probably written on one of the articles, all being well, uh, the railway stand will be started in June 2023. Yeah. Great. So, can't wait. Which makes can't sense wait. as well, because I've saw i seen a lot of people say, since, since they first talked about doing the ground, I've been people saying, well, why do we need a ground that holds like 22,000? So, yeah, but it's not instantly going to that. No. Like incremental <laughs> no, yeah. thing. We're not just instantly yeah. going... You know, doing a Darlington, where they have that crook build them a new ground. Yeah. And then just, there's like a thousand. Reynolds them, Arena. That's the one. Yeah. A thousand of them rattling around in like a 25,000 all seat. It's not yeah. like that, is it? No. No, it's not. It'll be organically grown, won't it? So, yeah. Well, while we were on the, the subject of the ground, it was the Meet the Sculptor event. For the yes, actually, actually. it yeah. was. We got to meet Hannah Stewart. Yeah. Um, it's very coming on very nicely, very nicely. And it's looking like... It might be up end of the season, start of next. Really? Where's, where's it going? It's underway. It's going to be Cheedland, behind the, behind the Cheedland, uh, near where the... The new fan park is. Prob- yeah, uh, well, probably near where the memorial bricks are. Outside no, the outside the ground. Outside, like, club, oh. club shop and the, the, office, the bricks. Yeah, yeah. Oh, oh right, right. Yeah, yeah. But inside inside the fencing. But, but yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I mean, it couldn't be outside the club shop. Well, that's, well, that's what I mean, just on edgely. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that, that was one of the questions, <laughs> during the Q&A, that was one of the questions someone asked, like, how are you going to keep it from Burnley fans? Like, Somebody asked it? that? Yeah. They said Dingles. Oh, right. Well, yeah, yeah. yeah. Dingles. And Hannah, poor Hannah Stewart, she's come up from uh, Sussex for the night. She, she didn't know what, what a Dingle is. Was. Yeah. She didn't watch Emma Dale. She's an <laughs> award-winning sculptor. But yeah, she showed examples of her previous work, which is awesome. Um, but if you go to the co-op social media pages, they've actually made the presentation available or without all the bits of me talking rubbish in between, because right. that's not that wasn't really necessary to it. I did offer if she wants to, if she ever gets commissioned by Liverpool to do a statue of Jurgen Klopp, I've told you her could, you could be the model. I've told her I'm model for it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, if they were doing a statue of that geezer off Coronation Street, what's he called? Which one? Platt. What's he called? Nicky David Platt. David Platt. Yeah. It's a ringer for me. You reckon? I thought, oh. I thought you were going to say me then. Yeah. You? <laughs> hey. I've always thought you looked like David Platt. I've, I've got nothing, mate. No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm gone. Really? You don't see it? No, never, I don't, I don't really know. Has that been said? Viewers, can you help me out? <laughs> <laughs> David Platt? Anyone? No, Nick? I, don't, I don't think I've looked anything like David Platt. I mean, yeah, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's, a, there's a clock resemblance. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. But David Platt, yeah. honestly. Unless it's a camp, maybe not. So, I'm back myself out of this corner. Maybe not so much <laughs> in uh, in the flesh, but when you're on the camera, I always think oh, he looks like David Platt. Fair enough. I it's mean, a compliment. It's a compliment. It's not a dig. Oh, it's yeah, a I've, I've heard. I've heard. I've heard worse. I mean, I have. I have been called a lot worse. I played a celebrity football game with him once. Is he alright? Is he good at football? He's, he's um, 
he's, he's only a small chap, but he's, he's, he's quite well endowed, so it is a compliment. Ooh. <laughs> I didn't ask for that information. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, good lad, good lad. Him. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I met him in uh, Fifth Ave in Manchester once when I was like 18, 19. Fifth Ave, where is, is that on? Uh, uh, Princess Street. Not Canal Street, Street. No. No, no, no. God, they won't let me near Canal Street, not since the court order. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not anywhere near. Anyway, moving on, right? Yeah, moving on. Um, so, <laughs> there's two of us this we, week. We've just, <laughs> we've just lost 10 viewers. <laughs> <laughs> it might be in the minus numbers now. <laughs> minus viewers. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Um, so yeah, anything more about the sculpt the sculpture? Have you have you seen the plans for the sculpture? No, yeah. I'd, I'd just rather wait till you know, oh, it's okay. done. I just didn't know where it was going to go, but I think it's a great idea and and, and it's long overdue. Yeah, We're very close to the fifty grand total now, and there's an anonymous benefactor who, Saw this. who will double anyone's donation. Anyone's donation between now and the end of October up to like a grand total so it's very very close and we're looking at doing something aren't we we're looking at doing some sort of live event yeah to try and get it over having a thing. some sort of like just, just a week thing. of people <laughs> to be like we've done it we can, we can have like a children in need type thing yeah yeah, with the, yeah. The totalizer yeah we'll drag out uh vernon k yeah and him from jls and his missus yeah i don't know what he's called I don't care. I don't I, do the hit list, don't they? Yeah, good yeah. show. That's a good show. Well, I like no that. Chemistry between yeah. Two do you do you like the hit list, Daz? Have you seen that? Yeah, I was was it one of my songs on there? Probably. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Was, yeah. yeah. Someone texts me. You're on the hit list. No, I'm not. I'm sat here. <laughs> 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 Which one was it? Teenage Life. Oh, uh, yeah. Teenage Life was it? Yeah. I was listening to. I say it's got to be on it, but I was listening to. That no, no, no. no. the thirteen I've had. No, but in terms of by name, because <laughs> if they're mentioning you by name, it's going to be teenage life, isn't it? Because everything else you've done under shit. Like, uh, <laughs> what, you I, 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 I've listened to that twelve times this week, so you're welcome. Um, cha -ching, cha -ching. I'm, I'm still a big fan of that. I'm, I, was, I was telling a mate of mine. Sadly, Europe wasn't. <laughs> no, <laughs> it gives a shit. No, um, but no, no. I, I was genuinely listening to that. I, I still really like that song. That and Sam Riders this year are our two best. Sam Riders. See, we unbeknown to anyone we worked with sam Ryder before he was even known yeah i he comes across as having the time of his life and i'm really happy he's just really happy isn't yeah he? did you see him at the taylor he's hawkins tribute he has got a bit of hippie vibes it's what you know the taylor hawkins tribute concert at i didn't see any of that Wembley. yeah the, so, so the brian may and roger taylor from queen were on it's like oh we've we're getting someone out to sing a few queen songs with us and we and i was like it's gonna be it's gonna be sharing it's gonna be sharing in it it's like please welcome sam Ryder, and he was so happy Bless his little car. He expected to turn up there yeah. and get nothing. You see, you say talk about a silver spoon. Sam Ryder's got got to be on it. I managed to convince my mate that it's Sean Ryder's son. <laughs> <laughs> he, still, he still thinks it is. He's like, Come on, Dad, spill like the beans. Him. No, no. He's one of our own. Mm, He's one of wow. our own. He's just. I like him even more now. Well brought up, good mannered. See those southern boys. Sometimes you can come across a bit, yeah. so, but no. He, there's a lot of wankers in this in the music industry, obviously. And I know people are gonna go, Yeah, you're one of them. <laughs> <laughs> Have a look in there. Have a look down there. <laughs> so uh <laughs> the universal credit game this week, I'll be all right. So um yeah, but but no, he genuinely is so almost like wet between the, the ears, mm. you know, because yeah, and yeah. that's why that's why he's doing what he's doing, because he's not getting caught up in the bullshit. Yeah. And he's I mean, let me tell you, he's the best I've ever seen. He is we we did a track with him. He did a like a dance version of uh, the Verve song, Bittersweet Symphony. <laughs> Fucking better than the original. His voice just released it on his own. This was before he got his yeah. deal for Eurovision when he was up and coming. And then what he did, he took it upon himself and started doing TikTok and all that. And and don't need a, you don't need a record company if you've got that exposure. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. now he's he's, he's not going to look back now. But he's got talent. That's what I mean. He has genuine talent. Not a chance of just trying his arm. So I wish him all the best. I'm, yeah. I'm disappointed he didn't win. Yeah. You know? But, Bloody war. But I'm glad that he's <laughs> getting second because it means I'm going to get a shitload of work. Now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's coming like, back. It's coming. Home. <laughs> <laughs> um, love it. Right. So we, we just did a little bit of admin there because um, oh. we moved on very quickly from the admin at the start of the show because we, oh, yeah. we were so mad being a part of the ACAS Creative Network and yes. the Talk Sport fan network. This is true. Uh, Jordy Hatter is back this Saturday with the much loved away day show. Previewing the Bradford game. 9.30 start. 9.30 start. 9.15 for 9.30. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Get, get on early. Get some pre-drinks. Get, get your drink. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. Um, Could I just say as well, Declan from Dublin, um, I met him on Saturday. Very nice chap. Said hello. Um, Did he ask where I was? Um, no, he didn't. Yeah, finally. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, hello, Declan from Dublin. Nice to meet you, mate. Um, 
now is a good time. If you are watching, please do like and subscribe. Get it in mid-roll, as they call it in the industry. Well, in all these new terms, you see Daz, mid-roll. He doesn't tell um, me the new terms. He just, he just comes out with it, and I'm just sat here looking confused. <laughs> um, do like, subscribe, and whatever podcast player you are listening on, please do review, like, and comment. All those good things. Thank you very much. Um, so I put out a tweet the other day saying, because loads of people were complaining about County, and I was saying, look, I said, two, three years ago, I'd have given me right arm to play Walsall one week and Bradford the next. And that's who we're playing. So Bradford on Saturday. What we're expecting, they. I think Mark Hughes is up for manager of the month. Yeah, well, we're not going to get battered because we haven't got battered. That is true, point, which That's is true. what some people seem to be worried about. But it, it, it could be, it could go the way of Northampton again. You know, people said the same about the Northampton game. Like these are one of the teams that's going to be up there. And you know, we play for ninety minutes against Northampton, then we've come away from there with three points. But no points away from home this season. It does. I, I know. Yeah. It doesn't look good, does it? But. Big, big question, biggest question of the night. Should we stop singing? We always win away. Please, preferably, yeah, <laughs> yeah. But when did football songs have to be factual? This is true. Never did. We're by far the greatest yeah. team Forest in the world. Green ever seen. And by far the greatest team no. in the world's ever seen. Paul Ince is a paedophile. Remember that a Mac away. I don't. Oh yeah, but that that was that was back when it was anyone's a paedophile, wasn't it? Yeah. There was no like proof, <laughs> proof <laughs> or actual <laughs> accusations. <laughs> like James James Rowe would get it now. James will get something like that. <laughs> yeah. and it'd be almost slightly. Yeah, yeah. yeah there'd be some, yeah. De- some degree of alleged. Alleged. I might have remembered it. it wrong, but I don't think we should whip Mac away when we sung that, when Paul Ince was the manager. And I, I might be getting it wrong and I might have dreamt it, but I'm sure that when it went quiet, somebody shouted, You can't prove he's not. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure they did. That's the time they might shout. <laughs> <laughs> Michael back in time and done that. <laughs> was that the Darren Ferguson thing, wasn't it? Because we, didn't we play him after he'd. Been done for, been arrested for domestic abuse. Oh, was it? Yeah, there's been loads of stuff like that, though, haven't they? In the, fo- it's wor- the football world's horrid, isn't it? It's almost like football attracts dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> um, Bradford away on Saturday. Let's, let's move it. <laughs> Talking <on>. of dickheads. <laughs> <laughs> what are you expecting, Daz? I think we can win. Um, we, we, I, we, what count is going to turn up? That's, is that's the Northampton Warsaw County going to turn up? If so, if the, if the fighting spirit of the Leicester County turns up, we've got to shout. They're not as good as as what mm. they're made out to be. It's all about profile of you. I mean, you know, use it is now in Division Two. Yeah, people don't remember, think about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's in yeah. Division Two. Um, if you offered me Hughes or Chally right now for the next three years, I'd take Chally all day long. Same. Um, well, if so, it don't work out for Mark Hughes, then the next stop for him is Wrexham. I think that's the only reason Parkinson's still got the Wrexham job. You know, that's a very good shout yeah. because he is he's, he's actually from around yeah. that area. That's, he's that's very, who he supported yeah. as a kid and everything. Yeah. Like. So I, I think that's why Wrexham have kept Parkinson on because they're just hanging on for Hughes. Right. In answer to your question, I think we could get, I think we could nick something. Last time I was at Bradford, was in a Rumbelow's Cup tie and it went to extra time. Francis and Wheeler were up front. Um, pissing down, I think that night. Yeah. Paul Wheeler, isn't it? Yeah. yeah, the ground's changed considerably since then. Yeah. Um, was Paul Wheeler still in Stockport? Still lived around? Yes, he? he was at the. He was one of the guests at the him and Paul Jones, the defender Paul Jones, not the goalkeeper. Right. Which I didn't know, so I turned up with a list of questions for about <laughs> the, the, Paul about Jones. the penalty shootout <laughs> and the also in screen shield, and it was the defender Paul Jones, formerly of Bolton, and once called up for the England squad. But yeah, Paul Wheeler still lives Paul, in the area. Paul yeah. Jones could tell you a few stories. Yeah, well, lived the rock star life, Jones. But which one, the goalkeeper or the defender? No, the defender. Oh God, yeah, 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 yeah. Couldn't get him off. Class act. So wrestle the mic off him. But so, carry on. Yeah. So, so basically, basically, basically <laughs> the Bradford game. I thought we were going to turn Warsaw over. You know, I had a few quid on, on us winning that, so never mind. But Bradford, I couldn't really call it. I don't think they were as good as what, hmm. because it, we're only ten games in. So it's like it's like a, they're going to start of a marathon where everyone's just judging each, yeah. mudging each other out of the way. Best team I've seen this season is Swindon. Yeah. Best team I've seen. Yeah, yeah. Um, and everybody else, you know, whatever. But. Um, can we win? Yes. Will we win? I certainly hope so. Um, but if we lose, it's not the end of the world, people. It's not the end of the world because, you know, if we're sat here in January, which based on tonight's performance is not going to happen. <laughs> 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 uh, but if we're sat here in January and we're still, we're still where we are, then I'd start start, I'd start thinking, okay. We, yeah. We're dependent. Can we? We can't sign anyone now, can we? That, no, unless not even loans. We, no, no loans. But we can we can sign free, free agents, agents as long as they were a free agent when the window closed. Right. But other than that, no. So yeah, let's so let's hope. Let's. I know there's be a. I'm not going myself. But I'm going to watch it on the stream. Let's hope you know. 
the, uh, the, 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 the singing army get over there and, and see, see what we can do. But it's good to me. I'm saying people when they're moaning about, eh, we're not, we're, look where we are. We're yeah. going to a fucking valley parade on yeah. an even playing field. We would have given our right arm for that when we fucking stood on Geisley's terraces. You yeah. know what I'm I'll, saying? I'll so, never forget going to Bradford Park Avenue away and getting a, getting a taxi from the station and he took us to Valley Parade and I just had this thing of, yeah. But now, I, well, I'm not going Saturday, but I imagine if I did, the taxi driver would take me to Bloody Bradford Park Avenue. Probably, yeah. 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 He'd probably remember you from last time. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It day. I'm going. Last time I went to Valley Parade was probably the last time we played him, actually. Was it Harpool scored? Did least. it? Was Harpool Singh playing for us then? No, I think it was after that. It was. Oh, was it? it maybe it's not the last time we played him. Like post 2008, I think, or around that time. Last... I think it was when we dropped out of the Football League. We played him that season or the season before. Did we? It was around that point. Yeah. I just remember Harpool singing Owen Morrison playing for us at that point. Oh, we played, we definitely played him. Oh, right, okay. Yeah, yeah. Anyway, I'm going on Saturday, yeah, but I think I'm in the stand that you can't buy alcohol. You're not in a box. In the posh seats. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not in a box. <laughs> Gonna get me a right reputation in. Yeah. Um so yeah, we we, we 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 could win it, couldn't we? I mean it just depends who turns up. You're, you made a good point. We've not been absolutely slapped yet, have we? No. And um, and Bradford at the start of the season were installed as favourites alongside ourselves. Yeah, and they've not slapped anyone either. They're not going around slapping teams. <laughs> no, slapping teams. Yeah. No, Darren, Darren Ferguson slapped a few people. No, but what? talking to um, a lad on the lower league, look, who's a Bradford fan, he says they're favourites every year just purely because well, of the big stand it, they've yeah. got. And, and they sell a lot <laughs> yeah. of season tickets. They have good season tickets. Yeah, they've got four, is it 14,000 season 14, tickets? 14,000, something like that. Wow. Yeah. They're someone, getting 20 thousand. someone shit beat them last two weeks? Isn't it? Someone like Crawley beat them or someone. In the last... Possibly, someone yeah. Someone beat them yeah. in the last minute or something. I remember, I, I don't pay attention to the results, but I'm sure I've seen them get beat. Yeah. So they're not, you know, it's like, we, you know, we don't lose sight of the fact that we've got some fucking good players, man. We have sort of some, just needs to, you know, yeah. gel them together. I want Wotton to get off. It yeah. It reminds me a bit of, you remember you saw those strikers who'd come, not score, and then suddenly bang six or seven in. Yeah. And, and I think if we, if we go on a run of three or four games, everything changes and that momentum and everything and, and Steve Bellis will start his tour again and, and you know, <laughs> yeah, the out. And well, I'm not going to dig at Bellis because I'll tell you this right now a lot of people don't realise that there's a, a strange deja vu feeling because I remember when Steve came in in the, in the late 80s yeah. and the same things are starting to happen and the job that he does for the club is, is fucking in, 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 incredible. I'll tell you where I was once I was in Moldova some, was it Moldova or, or Lithuania or somewhere like that mm. Not so long ago, I'm starting about county, and some geezer said to me, Isn't that the guy where the chairman's got a pig? Seriously, no way. seriously. So he's not quite the chairman, but but yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So it's it's amazing the internet, and it's amazing how our, our story about our little club gets so far and why. But Bellis, I sat there the other day thinking, when I knew I was coming on, I'm gonna give him a mention because he doesn't get a lot of mentions, but just because he's not football side. The energy, you've probably felt it around. Oh, absolutely. Just complete, I know we've got a, a batch of new fans who've come in and we'd have to settle them in. That's, that's why we're being so shit at the moment, to yeah. get rid of them. <laughs> it's all planned. No, we need just to keep them, though. We need to it. indoctrinate them, don't well, we? Well, not if going to turn up in United yeah. City shirt. Steve Bellis, you know, yeah. props to him. He's doing. A, he's done a great job yeah. behind the scenes. And uh, I don't really know him personally, so this is not me trying to get into his back. But, yeah, great <laughs> job. Well done, Steve. I, I yeah. feel bad because at, at the gig we did... Uh, Phil Brennan's book launch. At oh yeah, the bus gig. Uh, yeah, I introduced Steve Bellis by saying he's he's basically like ninety percent trophy by this point, and I didn't go back on it, so I felt really bad. But it was just a joke. Like, what was the joke you said about the, the kit supplier? Um. Oh, but it was well, it was Phil Brennan who came up with that joke. It weren't me. I oh, was it. Phil Brennan said, "Oh, you can have this." Right. Can have this. But you can't remember it. Well, I can't remember. Oh, it. Right. it was good though. It did get it, good it, it was good. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we can't, you can't remember it. It's no point. It's not, it? it not something we were trying to get hold of, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We couldn't get. And I was like, oh, we're getting it from the same place. As the yeah, yeah. yeah. Should yeah. we move on? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's almost like we, we, we shouldn't go back to gigs we did where we got very drunk afterwards and, and try and recall them like, <laughs> live on air because it's not good for anyone. Yeah, this is true. God, I was rough true. the next day. Um, Just looking at that, Ross. That and it looks like one of those shows at night, you know, when they spin the casino wheel. <laughs> <laughs> Place your bets now. <laughs> I've got a dress I can wear. Um, so beyond Bradford, we've got Grimsby and Salford. And I think sandwiched in between there is the, the, biggest, <laughs> the biggest dead rubber in the world. Yeah, the Shrewsbury is going to be our lowest ever attendance. Yeah, we? is that in that pizza, pizza tray? Yeah, 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 yeah. We're, already out. we're out of that, aren't we? Yeah, so, yeah, so. 
he'll blood. But so are they. Yeah, but so he'll blood that young kid who's good in the midfield. Right. What's he called? Cody, Cody Johnson. Cody Six, Johnson. Yeah. And hopefully the striker we signed from Kerry under yes. 19. Yeah, they'll, they'll, get, they'll get a chance in that. I, I'd yeah. hope so. Because... I know, I know he's obviously not played at a level anywhere close to where we are now, but neither, neither with Liam Dickinson. This is true. When we signed yeah. him. And if he's got a bit of pace about him, which from speaking to a Kerry fan on Yellowboard, who's joined up. Really? He's joined up on Yellowboard. So he's, it's nice. He's got a little um, Irish football thread that he started on there, like updating people. Because as a, obviously you're a football manager player as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I, I kind of like to start with no badges and yeah, yeah. Well, no experience. I, I start with the badges that I've got. And... That, that makes and it you, hard. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do you lads have partners? Yeah. Okay. Not yeah. for long. <laughs> I'm, I'm trying to alienate fucking mine. Computer game. I'm trying to alienate oh, mine so I can move into this, no. this pub. <laughs> <laughs> Football manager's kind of an institution for me. I've been yeah. playing it since long before I got me with wife. Well, so, that's what that's know. what I say to my girlfriend. I say football manager was here before, before you. It'll be here when you've got you've pissed off. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> Taking everything with you. So that's why we were playing football games. You were making music. Uh, when you're so I, loose as possible. I've, yeah. I've, I've made music, mate. Oh, yeah. oh, oh, yeah. oh. He's, laid, he's laid down a groove in his yeah, time. Yeah, yeah, I, oh, yeah. I, I play a bit of I slap a de bass. <laughs> 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 I've, I've, got, I've got a bass. I've, I've, I play along to my Arctic Monkeys records. Right. Bass. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sweet. Yeah, you know, I bring it and you can get it. Yeah, well, yeah, you can see it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you can get up like kind of with, with my three guitars <laughs> that I can play three chords on. You know what? I'm going to get you. I'm going to get you for an ear. I'm going to give you one of my discs. I'll give you one of my discs. Sweet. That's, 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 that's That'd be lovely. Awesome. No, I am moving in. Seriously. It'll be like one of my shit songs. No, I don't mind. Hey, hey, hey. I'll give you one of my discs. That'd be amazing, mate. I'll, I'll even get the name changed on it. So it has your name on it. No. Do I have have yours name really? on it? Yeah. Because yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you can sell it on eBay, can't no, I? No, because it'd be, yeah, it'd just you know, be more worth authentic. about 400 quid, you know. They're not cheap. Right. Proper, like, BPI ones. Well, that's why you I, don't I've want... I've got that many of them. He'll be giving it to his footballer for the Christmas tip. <laughs> no, but that's what it needs. It needs, it needs one of them in here. By the way, if you ever get a chance to, to come here, come. It's great. Very, very, very The very address is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> come on now. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Grimsby and Salford beyond that. Um, I don't know if you want to pick up on any of those two. Um, a bit, bit ahead of our time. But the, Salford, the Salford tickets went on sale today. Did you just, sold, did you sold just out. Use, the word, use the phrase ahead of our time to, dis- to describe yeah. Grimsby and Salford? No, I, meant, I, meant, I, meant, on I meant chronologically, not not like in, in town development yeah. or anything. Yeah. <laughs> Grimsby, what a sprawling metropolis. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Salford tickets went on sale today. They've sold out already. Yeah. I don't know if you know really? that. Yeah, within two hours, I think they were sold out. And then I saw a fan from Norway on one of the Facebook groups saying, "Oh, I've booked flights to come over." Oh, and it's sold for the game. It's just someone, yeah, there's, all, there's always Steve Bellis will be on the case there right now. Go. Picture with a trophy. <laughs> yeah, yeah you're in Norway now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to come up support? <laughs> no offense. <Steve. laughs> um, oh, actually, I actually forgot for the Bradford match. Stadio Junkie's coming over, and I'm he's, he's getting a lift with me, so I'm gonna have a good chat with Stadio Junkie. Oh, yeah. Well, talk it to me, a lift. <laughs> <laughs> this high pitch stuff. What is it? It's family guy. Family guy. Yeah. Because we're, we're just you, children. You two really haven't got partners. <laughs> Hell, fire. But all my family guy and football manager is done after. Like, my girlfriend's a nurse, so she goes to bed that early. So I'm just like, oh, football manager and family guy. Done. Sorted. So but you never morning. spent this much time with two geeks, have you? N- yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't end well, though. He battered him. <laughs> um, that Brad Grimsby and Salford. I mean, do you want to say anything about them too? I feel very self-conscious about having my legs crossed now. Well, no one can see you. Like, oh no, they can. Uh, they can. That's weird. Yeah. They can, if yeah. they didn't, they'd be like looping over there. <laughs> yeah. Because I'm surprisingly tall, as Dad's pointed out before. Yeah. Yeah, you're like he's like the Peter Crouch of uh, Division Two podcast. I'm shit. <laughs> I'm shit in the air as well. Yeah. <laughs> I can't have all for shit. A great feat. Yeah, <laughs> good feet for a big man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. for, for, for about two and a half minutes before I get knackered. Actually, what size are your shoes, Nick? Uh, Jesus Christ, I'm, I'm a, you know what you say, don't you? Big feet. Big socks. Exactly. I'm an 11. 11. Big that. Big hand. Those shoes have cut Coco Savannah's rug on its own. I'll tell you what. You <laughs> masters. Down <laughs> in King Street. <laughs> Got all the moves. Pop. Teenage life on the jukebox. Yeah. Off into monsoon time. afterwards. Yeah. <laughs> Slappy chop chop. <laughs> I'll splash your boot. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Ross. You, you've just come in here with plans and stuff. I like know. That, just yeah. like all, well, every week, in it. I don't. I don't really know where we're going next. Is there anything admin-y, anything more county you want to talk about? Who would you want to see? Who, who in the lineup do you want to see on Saturday? I hope Crankshaw's fit. He's been yeah. our most exciting player yeah. this year. Collar right back again. 
Nate. I'm not bothered where Nate. he plays. He's a great, he's a great player. So I'm happy with him at right back. I'm equally happy. As I'd like to see Crowsdale given it for some reason. I want him to start. He played well. Yeah. Also, I want him to start. I want him to hold and do that shit work that you have to do in order to get a positive team going forward. I, I really like Crowsdale and for whatever reason. It's a feature as much as what I like this year. It's no coincidence that he starts and we keep, you know, we look, look, look better. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Had he been substituted by the time they equalised? I can't remember. Did he go off? I don't think he did on Saturday, did he? I tell you what I like the look of as well. Um, Akeem, what's Akeem, it? right, yes. He, he, see, good players, right? They always look like they have shit loads of time. Yeah. On, and, and yeah, it won't do his confidence very well, the fact that they played him into that trouble at, at Crawley away. Of course, yeah. The learning curve. He won't do that again, yeah, I assure you. Exactly, yeah. But he's, he, he just seems to have, you know what, he's playing in, he seems like he's just, if it was a car, he's only in third. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. It just it reminds me a lot of Lewis like Montrose. A lot. A Similar lot, vibes lot like there, yeah yeah. yeah. yeah, just just look, looks very smooth as Is well for kid? someone quite on. Uh, 26, I think. Is he 26? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so he's been about. Yeah. I, didn't know. I, I always thought he was like 22-ish, something like that. No, 26. Yeah, oh. I, I think I might be wrong, but that's what I'm sure I saw someone saying. But yeah, good he, he can fill in at centre-back in a three as well, which I think is somewhere we might... Maybe we'll see him if we do go back to a back three, because... Four four F in two, wasn't it? It was Saturday, four four F in two, yeah. Which you don't you don't tend to see these days. Did Crowsdale play the full game? Yeah, uh, he did. Yeah, yeah, good. Crowsdale did play the full good. game. Yeah, I'd like to see. Jennings came on at the end for common. Wow, Connor Lemon and Evans. Yeah, because Evans pretty much well, he was after about empty, 50, empty 55 tank. minutes, yeah. but he's not <laughs> yeah. been playing that much. So. No, this is true. This is true. So Crankshaw went off injured. Um, Connor Jennings. I'm trying to be positive, right? Because I know the lad's been through a lot. Yeah. Um, maybe that it's taken out of him because he really, if he was going to be back to where, but you know, it's not fair because he put a shift in away at Arrogate. He did put a shift yeah. in and he just got a penalty, but he just, I think he just, he's sort of the scapegoat at the minute because you can hear. Yeah. Okay. You're managing County. You need a goal. Three years ago, you would put Jennings on. Now, I'd probably be looking at, on the, I don't mean it's the greatest respect, but we look at the 17 year old who's scoring for the reserves. Yeah. I really would yeah. because he just, it just, I don't wish to be negative because, you know, I want to be positive and I really like him and what he's been through and all that. But I don't think he's ever got quite back, in my opinion. Mm. I hope he plays on Saturday and scores for being two and yeah. shuts me up. But that's there, just my opinion. There was a point on Saturday where there was a, a ball, late on, where there was a ball played through to him and he just didn't seem to be, considering he'd only been on the pitch like a minute or two, he just didn't seem to be, know he was on a football pitch. And he just kind of yeah. came off his heel. And then I think the flag went up for offside in the end. It was just one of them really strange... But it's, it's 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 not like he's the only one doing things like that. I think that that's why it's been so hard to kind of single out individuals for the past weeks, well, past couple of months really, because no one's been at the level that we know. Yeah, like even even the signings we've brought in, we've seen what they can do already at their other clubs when they've come up against us a few times. And it's the same with the players we've got. So I, yeah, it's it's kind of hard to dig out individuals when no one's quite doing it yet yeah but i think saturday was a step closer yeah close to clicking do you think definitely so, yeah. Yeah. I think any county fan that's been there over 10 years mm -hmm. will we'll know there's absolutely nothing to worry about but we're in that culture now we're in the moan and groan yeah culture. we are yeah everything and, uh, now yeah the moan and groaners are moan and groaning now should have been there in the 80s <laughs> on a friday night against fucking torquay yeah. You know what I mean? When it's pissing down in rain and it's just well, get, it, get it from the get it, John Rudder gets it. Yeah. <laughs> John Rudder gets it and it's it 70 yards up to Tommy Sword, who's a centre half playing up front to flick on to no one. You know, so that's what it used to be like. So, you know, that's why I, I, I'm I'm loving the way we're playing at the minute and we're just not getting the results. But I still think we're doing all right and I, I don't think there'll be any problem whatsoever. You know, that's going to come back and bite me right in the ass. <laughs> <isn't it? laughs> well, I'll be back on next week if we get smashed. At <laughs> that fucking Samson. <laughs> <laughs> Jinx. Um, talking about future weeks, we're not quite at the end yet, but uh, we have got Tom Bennett coming on very soon, haven't we? Yes, we have that's going to be great. My favourite ever player. Yeah. You know, he can play a bit. Still, he can play the guitar. Oh, oh yeah, no, he's in a yeah, band. He's in a band with uh, yeah, yeah, with Phil Robbie. Yeah, yeah, with Wild. Yeah, yeah. 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 With, uh, Wild. yeah. yeah he can play and only learned to play because he was injured. Right. Yeah. Was that when he broke his oh, leg? Yeah. Yeah. No way. That's the injury. Oh, yeah. that's do, you, what, do you reckon when we have him on and you say, "Oh, you're my favourite player," do you reckon he'll say, "Well, Russ, you're my favourite podcaster." If he said that, and then I'd... I'll just slink off and have a cry. No. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I'd just do a mic drop and just end it all there. I'd, I'd, I've achieved yeah. it. He says suicide. 
No, the podcast. Oh, right. Jesus. God, don't get oh, that I dark. I, know, I, know, well, I think we've already got pretty dark. To be honest, <laughs> I don't think that's the straw that probably Is Tom Bennett your favourite player of all time? Yeah, yeah. What, not Bobby Loftus? <laughs> <laughs> Charlie Russell. Charlie Russell, <laughs> yeah. The guy who came on loan last season, I can't even remember his bloody name. Keenan and Dunwell to run, who's still looking for a club. That's wow. and that is good knowledge, that. I've forgotten all about him. His I've, name. I've got a head name. for wow. shite. Yeah. Oh, How yeah. did Dundee get on? Did they finish bottom? Oh, they got relegated in the end. I'd, uh, I'd imagine. Is he still there? Oh, because of thingy. Is yeah, yeah. Like, no, well, they got did... replaced by. They've gone already. They went at the end of the season. What a great track record. And got replaced by Gary Bowyer, Jordan Keane's father-in-law. No way. Yeah, he, he replaced him. And Simon Rusk is involved. Knowledge in know. yeah. Roth, the Rothman's yeah. book. Yeah. Right <laughs> <there>. <laughs> I can't tell you anything important, anything good or interesting about games I've been to. But I've got a head Jesus for where all the man. shite from my history. You're on number but, bushy getting home. Yeah. But. I've been stalking him. <laughs> you, know, you know when you met your missus, like a nurse, we at the bar going... So I can tell you played right back for Rotherham in 87. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it, it's that meme with the, with, it's that meme like with the girl. Yeah, 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 that, that is me. That is me. <laughs> so anyway, it's, it's me and a guy called Russ. Right? <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's all right. He's posh. He's all right. <laughs> um, oh. We've also got uh, James Jennings coming on at some point as well. Okay. So, um, yeah, so he's, he's the player liaison officer at the moment. Is it an officer? Player liaison guy. Player play, play liaison. Yeah. Representative, yeah, person. Officer. It'll be person now. I don't like officer. He him, it makes me person. seem like we get questioned. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so that'll be good. Uh, right, uh, that's probably all the football stuff. That's what's going on with you, mate. Music wise, um, well, I'm I'm submitting again for to go back and torture myself at, at Eurovision again this year, but not for us, sadly. Um, we're going to Romania to submit. So. How does that even work? Do you just like send a letter to Romania saying I want to, I'd like to sing for you <laughs> to <laughs> Romania okay. to the country? Okay. <laughs> Unfortunately, when you do songs like Kung Fu Fighting and Kinky Boots and all that. Kung Fu Fighting was great though. Yeah, but, but it, it tarnishes you. And what a lot of people don't know, and I'm going to reveal it right now, is that I've had a lot of hits as a writer mm. that you wouldn't even know about because I sign agreements with bands to not put my name to it. And so... In the songwriting world, you get emails saying, right, Romania are looking for songs. Latvia are looking for songs. So they sort of don't approach you, but you know what's coming. So I heard that Romania uh, are looking for some songs. And then I heard uh, the creme de la month moment where they said, and they'll also accept international artists. Yeah. Step aside. <laughs> <laughs> He's coming back. <laughs> so, yeah, so I wrote a song and, uh, in a couple of minutes. And... Uh, <laughs> And uh, and uh, the submission doesn't open to October. Um, uh, so, yeah, that's that. But I, I sort of like, I'm still doing a lot of scouting as well. I, I do a lot of scouting. And, and uh, not, I'm not an agent, but I uh, I, uh, I help a few players, who, who, a lot of young players are not really business-wise savvy and they'll yeah. sign the first piece of paper they put. So I'm not an agent, but I just give a little bit of advice to people. It's not, you know, I'm not driving around in a Ferrari because of it, so... That doesn't. That's not my mo. It's just to help it's players. Thing. Um, and uh, doing a bit of scouting, looking to get back into management because you know the famous story. Have I got time? To, have I got time to tell a famous story? Oh, got... There's always time. Yeah. Did you, did you so, not tell on the first one? Because it's your hat trick now, isn't it? No, this is the fourth. Is it the fourth? Yeah, no, he's not. Got me he's, that ball he's had his match oh. ball. And yeah, now he's... Yeah, yeah. Oh right. Yeah. So basically, what people don't know is that you know I've I've managed and coached like big, big teams all over the world, thanks to my music. I, I, I managed to, and, and, you know, I've lived in different countries. But when you come back to here, when you have a song like Kung Fu Fighting and Teenage Life, you, you're fucked, you're tarnished. Because I, you know, Phil Brennan will tell you this, I got a job at, at um, a very well-known non-league team um, at um, Northern Premier League level. Got the job, uh, four o'clock on a Tuesday afternoon. It's training tonight. Can you just come down and, you know, so I went down there, had a word with a few lads. Yeah, didn't take training. Um, got back. Oh, by the way, within those four hours, signed them, um, signed four players, which I paid for myself because yeah. the budget was gone and they were bottom of the league. And um, 10 o'clock that night, back home and training, sat there, phone goes. Uh, what it is, because um, uh, I was interviewed by two or three guys, not the full committee. Someone's recognized you at training. Uh, you're not that guy on the telly does all the dance prancing around. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, we're going to have to take the job away from you. And they got stuffed and went down. That, so that's when people have a go at me about fucking shit songs. What, yeah, they are. 
But you know, millions didn't think so. Um, <laughs> but but it tarnishes you. So even though that's why I do scouting now, go and watch games, and no one that doesn't. The fact that you know you did what you did. Here's a classic example for me. The best two managers in non-league are John Owen Byrne, yeah. right? But they're tarnished because of the Salford yes. documentary. Yeah, 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 yeah. But here's the thing: one of them's a lorry driver, ex-army by trade, and one of them is a plasterer, right? So there's no difference between me being a musician or a rapper or whatever, and them. Right, because I've. Do you know what? By up until recently, I had better qualifications than them as well, because they only recently got their badges in yeah. the last, in the last two years or whatever. So there's a snobbery in football that, mm. that if you if you're in music, you don't know about football, and um, so I'm trying to get back in that way. Um, but I, I, because I've been doing music for 25 years, I just keep my toe in the water. I'm only really interested in Eurovision and writing for other artists. I'm not really interested in doing my own stuff anymore because. The birth certificate's got the better of me. And I, I feel like I'm getting a bit serious. I'm expecting fucking Eamon Andrews. To <laughs> <laughs> the younger viewers will be going, Eamon Andrews, what the fuck's that? So yeah, so I'm, I'm still about, I've got more time to go and watch County now, so I'm not everywhere, you know, yeah. all, all over Europe. But I've still got some business interest, interest in Belarus, to which I openly invite uh, Simon Wilson to come to one of my venues out there as an apology for being very critical of him at the start of his reign. Mm. So it takes a big man to apologize because you can only judge on people what they do. What did he and say? He, and he, he, got it, he got it right. No, I'm, not, I'm, I'm publicly. Oh, I don't account. think he's watching. Uh, um, oh, so okay. The message will get to him. The message will get to him. <laughs> so I apologize for that. But, um, you know, we're all allowed our opinions. I got it wrong. He, he did a great job in the end. Let's hope we can continue that. And like I say, he's always welcome at my gentleman's clubs in Belarus. You can't have, go so. apologise on air because it makes me look like a dick. And now it's just a big list no, of stuff. I should probably apologise. <laughs> <laughs> I'm more than capable of doing that myself. <laughs> but yeah, yeah, I'm going to have to start apologising to people. <laughs> you do apo you apologise to people in DMs, don't you? When they when they email in and, and messaging. Yeah, you have to apologise, don't we? Sometimes. I don't, I don't, high voice again. I don't think I've said anything that needed apologising for. <laughs> oh, yeah. Should we move on? People can't take a bit of near the knuckle humour. <laughs> Maybe they should have been watching a podcast about a Division Four football club. This is true. This is true. <laughs> I, said that, I said that a lot tonight. <laughs> right. Well, that's a good Brilliant. place to wrap it up. Thanks very much for coming. Yeah. Thanks for Always visiting. Been a pleasure. Always a pleasure. pleasure yeah. Always. Um, and yeah, thanks for watching and listening, everybody. Uh, like I say, do subscribe and like, um, and do watch out for anything we're coming up with in the future. Um, yeah, that's probably it. So thanks, everybody, and see you next week. Bye.